Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, I uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Morning, Mr. Yu. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you.
Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees, clear skies all the way. That's a nice view on the bay there. Here we are, Mr. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Hello, Dr. Yu. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Morgan! Finally! Hey. You don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Glass won't break, will it? Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Look. Is he? He's hiding behind the chair. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register? 
at all? No? No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. All right, here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Not your problem, right? Almost done. Interesting. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... Is my coffee? It's empty. Oh, oh my God! Security! Security! Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032.
time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact.
Zimmerns? What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further.
foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Room. I can't... Jesus! You're still in the lab? I can't get out! There's... What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh! Hang on. Someone's coming. <laughs> has always been your strength. You'd be dead if it wasn't. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. First real view of the world.
Attention. Station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Good morning, Talley. Our resident counselor, Dr. Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. Good morning, Talos. Warning. Tampering with administrative controls are causing some difficulties. may result in electric shock. If you're having trouble accessing the system, please send a health alert to security.
Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Now, your memory's shot full of holes. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process to bring you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not gonna like what I have to say next. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> 